to ECU controls, move all the way down into trigger scope. This window is going to pop up here and it's gonna allow us to capture the raw pattern from our cam and crank sensor coming into our link. Now this is going to be a oscilloscope. You've probably heard of this terminology. It's used to measure signals. Now this isn't going to be a laboratory grade style scope, so it's only gonna be used um, at low engine speed to really uh, monitor what's going on to help us troubleshoot or help us figure out if we have a clean pattern. Now what you see on the screen here is something I've captured uh, previous, and this is going to be what a sine wave or a reluctor style sensor will look like. Now I'm gonna be going in and hitting this capture button that's going to be capturing what I have now, which is going to be a square wave or optical hull. I'm gonna be able to see the same pattern. So I have a 12 tooth crank wheel with one on the cam. So if I go up to capture now, we're gonna give it a second, it's gonna go ahead and capture the pattern. And now we can see each of these blips here is gonna to correspond to our blip for reading a tooth passing over the crank sensor. So if we look at the entire range of measurement here, this is gonna be a 720 degrees of, of the uh, auto cycle of the engine running. And what we're gonna be seeing is if we count the teeth here in a correspondence to our single cam tooth, we're gonna be finding every 12 crank teeth, we're gonna be seeing one cam tooth. And what we see here is we see a nice rise and fall in our signal. That's gonna signify that we have a clean signal going on. We can see the same thing here looking at our crank teeth here, we're gonna be seeing the same kind of signal. So now we know if we counted these individually, we'd have a 12 tooth crank, which we know we have, but it's gonna be verification of that. And we're gonna be seeing one on the cam, that's gonna be verification of that as well. So we know our pattern is correct. Now, if we go in, let's go ahead and actually, I'm gonna change my pattern now. Now, normally you can't do this, but I'm on a uh, engine simulator and I'm able to go and vary my, uh, my different cam and crank patterns. So I'm gonna illustrate a, a, a more of an extreme pattern. So if you're on a BMW or a Porsche, Volkswagen, Audi, you're gonna be finding that those run a 60 missing two wheels. So that's gonna be producing a ton more ignition teeth um, and it's going to go in and change this pattern completely. So if I go into capture now, I've changed my, uh, my, my trace, we can see we have a ton more ignition teeth and it's gonna be 60 pulses missing two. So they're actually gonna be 58 teeth they're gonna be counted and we're gonna have one on our cam. So this pattern here, we see this uh, space, there are gonna be two teeth not counted. So if we actually count it individually here, all the different uh, peaks, we're gonna be finding that there's actually 58 missing two and then there's gonna be one on the cam. So this is gonna be a 60 missing two, one on cam. That's gonna be what the pattern looks like. So now you get an idea of what this trigger scope is able to uh, go in and do. Um, it's gonna be very useful to check some very basic fundamental levels of cam and crank sensor 